Hello and welcome to Slaster Racing channel. In today's video, I will uh, show you my ACC Assetto Corsa Competizione for Seedback settings for my uh, fan attack, podium wheel, and um, the in game for Seedback settings I am using as well. So but before I going into the details of what I'm using, you already can see it on the screen on this intro. But before I continue on, uh, please follow the link in the description below. I actually have, while well, not updated my newest uh, Fanatec drivers, but in order to get to this point where I am at on these drivers to get the same settings I have, you need to download the newest uh, Fanatec driver in order to make it work. The link is in the description below. So right now, let's get into the video. All right, here we are. So I forgot to mention that you need to delete your old Fanatec drivers and Fanalab as well um, in order to make the new installation of the Fanatec driver to work properly. So please go to your control panel, delete the Fanatec driver itself, which is this thing here. You will delete this, but you will simply keep these things here down here. These will be not deleted, but just this. So please delete Fanalab as well, just in case if it doesn't work properly. It's just for secure your installation. Okay. So in order to make everything to work, that's the only thing to secure a clean update of your driver of Fanatec. And that's about at that. So. Yeah, I hope you already have updated it. As you already have seen in the intro, you can just copy what I, whatever I use on this place over here, the 460. I have actually tried the auto, but the auto here will actually go back and forth on the steering angle. And it's not very really recommended. It can be really annoying. Sometimes it's 1080, sometimes it's 900, and sometimes it's 560. And 460 for that matters as well. So it's all constantly changing. Depends what, which game you are on. So I turned this down to 460. You can probably go for 560 or 900 which is basically recommended for every sim racing games that many people are actually using. Or you can do 560, which is basically normal for rally cars, or 540, or 20, which is also normal for every single rally cars today. Or 460, which I am gonna describe on my end for because that's what I'm using for feedback uh, strength it's basically started at 35 and neutral damper 50 percent and that's basically everything you have to check that is correctly same as mine and for the final lab it's not much different here it's just all the same that I'm using so that's basically it, what you need to know about the 4 back settings I'm using for Fanatec Podium DD2. So let's get into ACC Competizione. Let's go there now. All right, here we are. So, uh, as you already probably is, you are very known to ACC or new to ACC. So let's go just right to the options 
and let's also go to the controls I can bet you're not seeing my mouse so just look at the blinking go to the controls and please make sure you are on wheel and please as well you can also click in one of these if you want to if you have a formula v2 rim i have that but you need to do things by yourself as well to make sure you have all of this put set to the correct buttons that you are using well for the 4c back you can already see you can pause the video and copy it what i'm using here i have gain 40 percent and dynamic damping 100 percent and frequency 400 hertz and stereo lock i had to adjust that down to 460 or else it will be yeah slow to stare and that's about it so make sure you calibrate your steering wheel within this first steer left and right throttle brake clutch and shifters as well to make sure everything is working and please make sure you have a flasher on and everything else just to make sure you got everything you needed for um, your car and I think that's about it actually That's about it, so let's uh, head into a test drive and it will also explain you how to customize your um, field of view. I'll put a field of view calculator in the link in the description so you can uh, adjust it so it will be more correctly for you. You can adjust that later on with the seat adjustment. Uh, that reminds me uh seat okay you have like field of view increase here but i'm gonna have move forward and backwards move up and down and this is probably field of view i think so this will be the seat movement and yeah all right now well, let's head into the test drive but before we really test drive we're going to adjust the field of view and explain the field of view as well so you have that correctly all right let's get into it all right here we are now we are in the game, uh, in the test drive. Uh, if you're gonna adjust your um, little view, you need to be inside the car. Hit drive. The next thing I want you to do is to click escape. And you have the view settings. Please click on the view settings. And you have like the height, you can adjust it here as well if you want to. And sideways. And the distance. As far back as possible. But not this far, or else <laughs> you can't see where you're driving. So adjust it as far as you can see that thing 
the seat at least or the helmet whatever that thing is you push it that as far back then you move forward at least as far as you can get like this and you have the field of view here and that will be on your calculation the link in the description below mine is on 25 because I am 24 inch screen and 64 centimeters away from my screen from where my eye is seeing to the screen and that will be 25 degrees for me on my field of view so you have to adjust it correctly or it will be really wrong for you when you're driving or else from what I probably don't know uh, before I did this field of view thing in ACC my steering was so slow he barely moved his uh, steering and if I steered a full uh, left or right um, the car barely stared sideways at all so I barely had I always had to stop the car during the turning and that's not where you win the time right so please do that link in the description below so when you see how done all of that click save and you should be good to go and another thing if you have a lot of motion at your steering look to horizon 100 percent movement 100 percent dash cam factor zero look at with wheel zero l dot dot gamma 100 percent smooth 100 percent wheel and dash you can uh, remove the hands with wheel only you can lock the wheel or you can hide the wheel or you can keep both you can have your field of view of your mirror I haven't put myself in too much into this but if you want to you can do that as well scale visual mirror of the scale of it and vertical level offset and everything I haven't touched that so but if you want to you can go on and do it yourself and you have for the triple screen to make it more dynamic and distance for each and every one you have the HDR I don't have the uh, RTX card I have the 1080 card so I can't use it and we are back to the camera angle of the field of view once you're done all of it you have to click save every time you have done finishing so if you change this you need to save it and so forth all right now let's get to the test drive all right I got a lap around just to heat the tires now let's see how it goes That was nice. Ah, it feels good to have a little bit more look around of where the track is going. My, my, my. This is actually one of my favorite tracks. I literally disliked this track so much when I first drove it in the ACC and when ACC was new. I was shouting I was mad I was greasy mad on the track 
because it was so bad for me to understand this track and now from all the despair and hatred I had of this track become lovely beautiful ah racetrack for me and there we go and there you have it that's the force feedback I use for my fan attack and I hope this video was helpful if you want to have more support please hit me up on discord the link in the description below and if you want to have more contact you can also follow me on Twitter the link is also here and please hit the comments give a comment if it was helpful for you hit the like dislike if it wasn't um, please let me know and let's see what the comments will say so if you need more assistance please contact me on discord or Twitter I will always always answer and be trying to help you as much as I can as much as I know so until then guys I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.